Fortify On Demand is a cloud-based application security testing service that combines industry-leading tools and security experts to provide a cost-effective solution to all your application security testing requirements. With Fortify On Demand, you can start testing within a day, scale rapidly to test all your applications, whether they are developed in-house or produced by third parties, and importantly, support the developers to fix any vulnerabilities that we find. In this demonstration, we'll show you how the software composition analysis functionality provided by Debrict is seamlessly integrated into Fortify On Demand to give organizations a single solution for all their application security testing needs. Debrict software composition analysis provides vulnerability management, license management, and project health information for all your open source components. It enables you to understand what open source you have and gives you insight into all known vulnerabilities that affect you from both direct and indirect dependencies. It also gives you information on how easily to solve those vulnerabilities. It gives you a complete view of all your open source licenses and the ability to export that information in the license report or SBOM. And it provides help in selecting open source by searching through the open source select database which has over 28 million projects and allows you to compare those projects based on sets of health metrics such as community, popularity and security. The key benefit of the Fortify On Demand integration is it offers software composition analysis seamlessly integrated with static and dynamic application security testing. The Debrick software composition analysis scan is automatically invoked with the static analysis scan. This can be from the Fortify On Demand web UI through any of our supported IDE integrations or as part of the DevOps pipeline with our CICD plugins. Let me show you how. I have already registered the application in Fortify On Demand, so the next thing I need to do is configure the scan. So we're going to do a static assessment. This is a Java application, version 11. Importantly, I'm going to check the open source component analysis box. This is how we make the Debrick scan run in parallel with the static analysis scan. Let's complete these parameters. And then I could start the scan immediately here and upload the code from my device. But more usually, the code is uploaded automatically as part of the DevOps pipeline. So I've saved these parameters and let's take that approach. So this is the application in GitHub. Fortify provides a workflow action template to perform the Fortify on demand scan. That's this file here. Uh, it's, it's configured uh, with the tenant connectivity information and also the application that's being tested. These are done as action settings. I've already configured most of the information, so I just need to uh, add the release ID that we've just created in Fortify On Demand. So that's this uh, parameter here. Now it's set to automatically run a Fortify On Demand scan on commit. But let's simulate that by running this action manually. So we're just going to start this off by rerunning the jobs. And you can see we've set up the job, checks out the source code, sets up Java, which is needed by utilities, downloads the Fortify central client, which is our packaging utility. The code is then, is then packaged. It'll then be transmitted to Fortify on demand using our universal uh, command, line, command line tool, and the scan will be started. When the scan completes, any software composition analysis findings will appear alongside the findings from any SAST or DAST test that have also been run. 
This gives managers a single view of the application security posture of the application that can be used for policy compliance management and other reporting purposes. It gives developers a single interface for managing vulnerabilities where they can get details about the vulnerability and information on how to fix it. All the issues are available from a single API for automation purposes. For example, assigning issues to the backlog based on priority. Let's take a look. Here are the results of the scans. Fortifying Demand has identified a range of issues and grouped them by severity. It has also given the application a one-star security rating, meaning critical vulnerabilities have been found. You can also see that it's failing the organization's security policy. This is a business critical application and the organization requires a three-star rating. That is all critical high and medium vulnerabilities to be fixed. The issue count covers all application security test types. In this case, you can see some are from the static analysis and some are from the debricked open source scan. Let's explore the issues further. We will start with a SQL injection issue found by static analysis. You can see we have a description of the vulnerability and recommendations on how to, how to fix it. If we look at an open source of vulnerability, you can see we have the same thing. Uh, we have the name of the component, the version, a description of the problem, and then recommendations of how to fix it. In this case, it's a log4j issue, and we need to upgrade it to version 2.15.0. If we want any more information, we can click on the references. In this case, this is coming up to the GitHub advisory database. Now, you can see there are also more uh, log4j issues. And so we could work through those and review them. At some point, we want to assign them to a developer to fix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group those three log4j issues. And I'm, as auditor, I'm going to say remediation is required. And I'm going to assign it to somebody to, to fix it. And this can... This can either be done and managed within FOD, um, or alternatively, it can be moved to uh, your automatically moved to your organization's bug tracker. Of course, reporting is also available. A range of standard reports are provided. In this case, FOD has automatically generated a compliance report. This report provides an overview of the security posture of the application, covering all the application security tests that have been run. Let's take a look. You can see that we have a very high level summary with the application name, release level, and business criticality, uh, the star rating, and the types of tests that have been run. We then have a compliance section, a breakdown in this case by OWASP Top 10 2017. And then a more detailed breakdown. You can see this clearly shows that some of these vulnerabilities have been found by static analysis and some have been found by open source analysis. Fortify on Demand has a wealth of additional features to support software composition analysis. Component inventory is available both at the application level and system wide. This allows you to look at the details of all the components you are using, or check to see if you're using a specific component version across the enterprise. This is invaluable when a major vulnerability, like for example the log4j vulnerability, is discovered. You can export the software bill of materials as an SBOM. This is becoming a software supply chain requirement. Or you can import SBOMs created by other tools to give you an even wider view of the security posture of the application. The link to Debricked Open Source Select allows you to make an informed decision about which new components to use in your developments. Let's take a look at these features. Let's start with the component inventory. 
Here you see a list of all components used in the application, along with summary information about them. This includes vulnerabilities and also license type. We can also look up additional information about the component using Debricked Open Source Select. You can see that we have high level ratings for contributors, popularity and security, and a wealth of data to explore. There's also an enterprise-wide component inventory. This is a list of all components that are used across the enterprise. For example, we could look for a specific component and see which applications are using it. This one's in use by four individual releases. Another important feature is the ability to import and export SBOMs. We can export the SBOM here for supply chain compliance applications. And then also import SBOMs from other vulnerability tools for an even wider view of the security posture of the application. Debricked Open Source Select helps developers evaluate which component to use. So let's compare Log4j with an alternative uh, logging component to Logback. So you can compare at a glance the ratings of the components in three key areas, popularity, contributors, and security. And you can see that Log4j is a lot more popular, has a lot more contributors, and has a higher security rating. And you can drill into this information in much more detail to help select an appropriate component. To find out more about Fortify On Demand Debricked Integration, sign up to our free trial, or if you're an existing customer, ask your CSM for a free trial of Debrick Software Composition Analysis in your Fortify On Demand tenant. And for more information about Debricked, see debricked.com.